Okay, now the figure has dried and we're going to add the uh, skin, so the face and the arms. So what I'm using is Brilliant Orange. I really like this colour. It's very powerful and I use it all the time for faces and arms and legs. It is, of course, people's uh, bodies aren't this, aren't this colour, but it works well. Maybe at one, at some point in the future, I might change it, but I just like it. It makes figures pop out, and I don't like weak figures in watercolour painting and you often get weak figures I, I will do my best to make the figure really really strong so again I'm using my round brush which I do use for details and let me see I think I think actually I got this figure sort of wrong um, There we go with the hand. And a bit of an arm going up there. And then here, let's do just a little bit of a hand. think we did it and then he's turning around and how far can we make him turn yeah I think that's about it Okay, so really him looking this way would have been better and I'm just going to have a think about that. Maybe we can change that completely. Here you see like the uh, creative process in action and um, let's see if we can actually have his face on the other side looking at his dog and leading us into the center of the painting rather than out of the painting. Yeah, I think that is definitely better. Oh, thank goodness for that. I actually did the figure wrong in the original picture and uh, it's only by painting it that I've, I've realized that. So that's why it's good to paint your paintings again. You learn a lot. Okay. Yes, this is leading us into the painting. Can you see that now? Before it was taken us over to here, it looked like he was looking at this tree. And, um, and it was taking us out of all this beautiful painting here but now he's looking over here and it leads us back into the painting. So perhaps his body suggests he's walking along the path which is this way, but he's looking this way. That's quite a nice tension, I think. And that, that actually does work. And we are led into the painting. Thank goodness for that. Okay, so the final thing I'm gonna do are some stones here and um, yep yeah, another another nerve-wracking episode <laughs> because we're gonna do splatter now and um, 
you want to make the mix. My mix is a kind of purplish mix like that. So I might actually just add some of these stones like this. Now the problem is with adding these stones is that you do them too regular like all the same size or all the same distance apart or yeah well I think or you do too many so those are the two big mistakes there too many or it's too regular and um, it seems obvious but we're hardwired or I am to do things in a regular way we're just hardwired to do that and um, it doesn't help you in painting so I've uh, suggested a few stones here I'm not going to do any here because that would be too much detail I want it just here at the front so it gives that exaggerated sense of perspective and I might even do a few grey a few grey stones so once again adding a little bit of variety or I can just dab that and then that's a bit brown there we go and now it's time for splatter here we go I'll start down here first of all and then go up there we go splatter across yeah it probably is a bit nerve-wracking especially for beginners to make a painting that you're happy with and then go across it and splatter paint on it but but it really is a nice technique and um, it, it 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 just feels enjoyable as well to be honest um, you really have to be bold with watercolor painting and do these kind of techniques and look it worked well but if it didn't you get a piece of tissue and look just wipe them out wipe them out and I recommend you do that anyway because you don't want too many marks and you don't want a line like that which doesn't look natural you want it to all look a bit irregular and splatter will sometimes give you a, a, a line of dots which you really don't want and that's it look at that I think we've got a bit of a cross there not sure that looks very natural um, okay <laughs> keep changing keep changing there we go just about finished <laughs> 